Hey, we're back unboxing that vintage collection from one of our consigners. Here's what's left in the pile. So let's get into this. So here we are. This is this is Sony. So depending on the model, this could definitely be worth something. PS X7. How does the is our needle? I don't know, you have to go lower because it doesn't reach up that high. <laughs> I can't see. Yeah, well. So. Somebody would probably put a new needle in it anyway. Yeah, we'll sell it as is, untested. Ooh, what's that? A little tea set. Mm-hmm. It's from Japan. Nice. We got, uh... What, five teacups to go with it? Very nice. Very nice and well protected. Oh. The vintage Japanese chopstick, plates. Wow, this noodle is an interesting box. It's like <laughs> together right there. Oh, this should have been another one, sorry. Gotcha. We have the chopsticks. Noodle bowls. Probably could take out all those peanuts. Those are not really necessary. No, they aren't. But actually, it's a different design on it. So it's an Asian theme, but it's a different design on it than the other one. What's this here? Oh, it's just another. Looks like a noodle or a rice bowl. Mm hmm. Okay. This we are super excited about. This is a vintage GI Joe. Look, I mean, it comes with accessories. That and and that is a lot of times where the money is, and all these little accessories. So we'll have to do a little bit of research to. Uh oh, you dropped the holster. Get your holster. <laughs> And figure out how we're gonna lot these up if this is one lot, if it's two lots. We'll have to figure it all out. But there's a ton what of little stuff in here cookware and um, boots and wow. buoys and <laughs> backpacks. And look, there's fish frying in the frying pan. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, this is uh, what's in this one? Ooh, we got some watches. Wow. What is that? Um, this is a fossil. Ten at least. Okay. And there oh, is a, yep. Definitely a fossil watch. Nice. Yeah. So these often come to us or we find them and, you know, none of them will be working. Occasionally there'll be one. Um, so we always have to sell them as is, untested. Oof. May need a battery. That one says Lucien Picard. Mm -hmm. um, Timex. What is that? Bulova? Bulova, yeah. Do we have any crowns in there? Do you see any crowns? Do we have any Pierre... rollies? Pierre Cardin? Nope. No. Boudot. Pierre uh, Boudot. <laughs> Boudot. This Boudot. is... Uh... Caravelle. Wow. wow, so there's definitely some different watches. Um, none of them are actually working. I don't know, or we don't know, if this is a nice Elgin here. Mm, yeah, that might be a standalone piece. Yeah, yeah. Again, this is all going to be in our online auction, which starts... Another what time. Did we schedule that for? Um, off the top of my head, I don't know, but we'll make sure we put it in... Yes. But, Coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, we got some shiny gold boxes. So we don't remember everything because this has been sitting while we've been out of the warehouse doing estate sales. So. Yeah, he dropped this off like a okay. month or so ago. So that is some kind of scroll felt, maybe? Feels like it, yeah, definitely. Well, with a metallic design with what, tigers and birds or dragons? dragons. Okay, that's kind of cool. This Asian stuff definitely has um, 
sometimes has some value and there's interest out there. Uh, so hopefully. Oh, oh, this is a snap on clock. Oh, look at that. A little on the risque side, but. Just um, a little bit, but. This is definitely vintage. Looks like it runs on a battery. It runs on a battery. Here's the cover. But yeah. Probably vintage 80s, I would guess. Okay. What's next? Whoa. Fly fishing rod. <laughs> okay, a big long fly fishing rod that has its own case. Fly I'm here. trying to like not get hit by you okay, well, <laughs> as you whack the on. other end around but because this actually had a name on it Where's that? there we go let me flip it over this is vintage but the name on it is Ted Williams right there for active Americans Ted Williams certified and approved All right, and I think it was a Sears product. I think there's Sears on it somewhere. Am I right or am I wrong? Um, yep, Sears Roebuck and Company. Okay, so that's a vintage Ted Williams fly fishing rod with case. So we'll do a little bit of research on some of this stuff just to be able to describe it here's a smith corona sterling typewriter that looks very nice we do very well on our online sales with uh the vintage yep. typewriters yep so. the portable typewriters yeah. with cases i remember what's in here i do not so let's see what it is oh it's a boatload of costume jewelry oh wow well I still don't remember, but I am seeing. <laughs> we didn't go through it. He just kind of opened it, opened the lid up, and and then closed it. So like, there's some work to be done here. Look at this massive yeah. thing. <laughs> wow, that did that had some writing inside of it. It said, "Strength of Faith," and that's a coin. It doesn't have any. I markings in front of the camera. I can't look at it if I'm putting it in front of the camera <laughs> so it doesn't have any markings other than that strength of faith but look at that turtle Ooh, look at that guys so this looks like a leather piece there's shell shell necklace here um, I'm trying to see here. There's so much to see. It's a nice little turtle. There's another turtle. It's a brooch. Wow. Does that have a mar um, any marking on it? Not that I can That's see. That's really pretty. But that doesn't mean that it's not there. Just I can't see it uh, under the camera there. Here's another pendant. These are unique pieces. Yes, they are. What's this in here? Earrings. Look at that. Those are earrings and pendant. That's a clip on. They're all clip ons. So oh, yeah. Okay. So it's but three earrings. It's, all right. Yeah, that one's missing. It's uh. Hotna. <laughs> um. What is this over here? Oh, I'm getting to the next layer. All right, we got it now. So this is a weird way to transport jewelry on on a towel and you can see there's layers underneath the towel so i wonder could you roll that maybe just roll it <laughs> let's see if he can do it guys hmm. can we tangle it oh wow Ooh, Look at whoa that. so honestly we never saw what was under here Holy cow. So this is definitely not real. The chain, it's right. very light, but uh what is that? What is it? Um 
It says something in a different language. Okay. <laughs> Latin or something. Gotcha. Uh, what is this? This this opens. This says on the back. What is that? Co Caliero. Hmm. Yeah. That is not a familiar vintage jewelry brand. No, but how do you open this? Or maybe it just there we go. What was what was that? Like a poison ring? Now this is a poison necklace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um maybe. That looks very nice. Yes, it does. Um it's just a little bracelet. Here's a, another little I can't read the writing, it's probably in Latin, but you know there's can we see the back of that? Is yep. it so it's just a big pin? Um it looks like it would go on a uniform or something, doesn't yep. it? Or like a ceremonial and, or this little hook for it to go on like a a chain. Yep. Um look at that brooch. This actually has something in it. I can't really see that, but can you guys read that? That marking right there. Yeah, I can't read it either. No, it's very faint. And it's I have to put those little markings upside down. up to my eyeballs real close. But that's really pretty. It's very yeah. colorful. Somebody may know what that specifically is. Mm, if you do, let us broken? know in the comments. No, that's just how. Okay. And that's. Wow. Yeah. Look at those so, polished stones. Wow, wow that's really that pretty. Ooh. It's so long, too. I'm going to step back a bit. Okay, we're going to model it. Wow, that is very long. <laughs> very. Um, look at this, though. I mean, it's just so much in here. Oh, no, it's crazy. I mean, that could be silver. Like, it may not be, but it kind of has that look. Yep, it kind of does, but I don't see anything that says if it's 925 or anything like that. So. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we can... Oh, and here's all the tangled mess, mm. so we'll definitely have to... Yeah, we're going to have to sit with this for a while. That wow, piece. that is a big piece. Yeah, wow. And I don't see... A marking on it but that doesn't mean it's not there just you know we're gonna have to really look at it look at this brooch it's yeah. not heavy so um so it definitely is not real it's oh that's earring, earring. There. In there yeah <laughs> so we have one random earring which probably the partner somewhere in here but yeah um, yeah I'm sure but this is feel that at least yeah it's not very, very lightweight heavy. yeah yeah but it looks nice um, and then this is a nice solid piece here, but we're going to have to do some, what is that? Some magic and some untangling here. Um, let's see. If I look, a, I see a crab or something. Are those little legs? That looks like it right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, you're right. Here's the crab, the legs, and here are the, the, the claws. Yeah. This, yeah. Oh, okay. There so, they are. Yeah, yeah. That's weird, okay. but interesting. It yes. is cancer. Oh, oh so, it's the zodiac sign. Yeah, I can't read the name of the make maker, but right here it says cancer. Let's see if we can. Can you guys see that? I, I can't know. see it through the camera lens. Me neither, but you know it did focus. Oh, here's another. Look at lock this. it. This lock it with uh. Yeah, we're going to be untangling some, some of this here before we can put it in our sail. But here's the locket with, oh, I don't know what's in it, but mm. something's in it. It's poison already. Oh, we wait, don't want to. Wait, hang on. You smell that? Open it up. Does that say Avon? It says Estee. E-S-T-E-E. -E. Estee Lauder. Okay. Yeah. And then whatever wow. that is, you can smell it. So I think it's like maybe a lip balm or something. Yeah, I'm not putting that on my lips. <laughs> I wonder how old that is. Right, right. That's interesting, though. Yes, it is. Unless that's poison lip balm so that when they're ready, they just... <laughs> yep. Goes with the dinner, the formal wear. Look at that. That's very pretty. Yeah. 
That's very pretty. There is another piece down here. These birds or something. Yep, it's just on a piece of... On a ropes or a leather strand? Yep. Okay. And it says clean air, land, and water. Oh, okay. And this is 1970. Right wow. There. Yeah. So I can't read the rest, but there is... Oh, there's some other words there. Yep. Yeah. So, okay. What is this one? This looks like a... Oh, is it a phoenix? I thought it was a belt buckle, but... Um, it has a name right here, Napier. Napier, okay. And it looks like. Wow, it's a big necklace, but it does look like that? a phoenix. I want it to be a phoenix. I might like that is beautiful. Oh yeah. So we'll have to wow. get and untangle all of this, um, and What's so we can one? get it. This online. is the one I saw from from afar. No. Oh, it's upside down. I see it's people now. Mm. I, I wonder if that is like ceramic. I don't know. Interesting. It's all very interesting and fun. So, wow. Is there another layer? I don't know, but. Because look right we here. Got a little bit more here. Oh, okay. So we got a roll. Oh, at, I wonder if that like slid out. I don't know, but um, so we yeah, got we, like little tins with no lids. And look, it's a. There probably was a shell for this, but it is missing. Oh. And there is a name on it, but I can't really read it, and it's upside down for the camera. Well, that's the back side then. So this would be the top. Yes. Here's a. Lock it. Ah, uh, on the other side, it looks it. like Martin Luther King Jr. Oh, wait, who, was that? That wasn't JFK on the other side, was it? I can't really tell. It's a glare. It's no, possible. It doesn't look like him, but that's interesting. So <laughs> that's interesting as well. There's a little, just a little pendant necklace. Not little, but. And Maybe it looks like these earrings. might have been, yep, clip on ear earrings to go with it. And some chains. Whoa, 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 where are you going? <laughs> right here, so. No, I know. Oh. Okay, we have, it looks like what, a uh, little. Some pinup posters that are. Um... Peggy Cummings, John Dale, is this uh, deadly as the female <laughs> it must be the movie yep like some kind of movie poster there's another movie poster here oh the hollywood chainsaw hookers they charge an <laughs> arm and a leg that <laughs> these are laminated no they're they're sleeves oh okay shocking true story of delinquent girls reform school girl hmm. these probably have dates on them oh there's a glare from the lights can't see there's lots of little tiny print down there. Yeah, we'll have to look at these and get back to you on that. But uh, yeah, those are cool. Yeah, I love that vintage paper and stuff. Oh, we got more. We got sports Pro football guide with Schlitz, 1981. Look at that, that is in uh, foreign language, and it opens up backwards, like yes, not it does. backwards compared to our books. Oh, there's a couple of them. That one, I don't know. <laughs> we have no idea what it says. Look at this. Or what language it is. Sports we'll have Illustrated, to... 225 year in review. Do we have a year? Well, it's not on the outside. Um, but, wow. Can we get an ad that tells us something? I don't know. Here we are. Um, this is... I'm reading upside down. 1981. Okay. Ooh, here's another Sports Illustrated from 1981. That's actually Inside Sports. Oh. Here's another one. So a whole bunch of vintage sports magazines, it looks like. Yep. 
And what is this? Not this, but <laughs> this is uh, something gold. Elvis. Oh, Elvis gold. There we are. <laughs> Little teddy bear. Yep. There we are. Be my teddy bear. Look at this. 1988 baseball picture cards. Oh, so are they baseball cards or are they something else? Well, I mean, oh, look at that. Wow. And again, so they're cards. They're in pretty good shape. Yep, 1988. Wow. And we got 89, 90, and 91. Okay. And these were tops, so wow, that is... Um, and then we have, besides those... Ooh, Wait. Houston Oilers. Hmm. This is, it looks like a bank. Yep, there it is. So we have two banks. One's the Oilers, and this is, looks like Tampa Buccaneers? Bay Buccaneers. They yeah. do not look like that now, do they? No, they do not. <laughs> Oh wow, hold we got on, hold some on. Whoa, comics whoa. down in there. Yes, we have some comics down at the bottom. Did we look at that styrofoam thing? Not yet. Oh. <laughs> Actually, so, you can pull this stuff out because we need to. Give me a sec. Uh, what do we have? This is. Boy, oh boy. Now, this is just email. Army at War. What is that? Number 152, 12 cents. Wow. So the shape of some of these, this is bagged and boarded. Smurfs number two, number one. Look at this. This is a 35 cent Comet Yang. Superman Gallery. Here's another one. This is from 1993. So these are not bagged and boarded. So that's in rough condition, but... You know, um, well, a lot of comic books down here. Yeah, a whole big stack of them. So we'll have to look at these carefully because since they're not bagged and boarded and some of them are in rough shape, we definitely don't want to rip any um, or damage them further than they are, like, already are. What is this? little Annie pin <laughs> and then Ripley's believe it or not and oh we're getting into more comic books so Richie Rich, Apache Dick, Chip Walt and Dale, <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah I mean just this will be interesting to go through world of wheels wow 35 cents so yeah we'll definitely have to go through this and look at it in more depth remember that these online auctions will have like all that jewelry we just looked at there's a poster um these comic books these will be shippable so if you're not local you know a lot of stuff is local pickup but a lot of stuff we do ship as well so keep is, that in mind what is this that is a dragon wow and the ball inside rotates. Okay. It's really hard to see. Yes, it's clear, but I mean... Can you get a side view of it? Maybe? Okay, there you can see it a little better. But you can't see the ball rotating. No. Though. We'll just have to take your word for it. Yep. That you're telling us the truth about that ball rotating. <laughs> Damn. What do we... Presidential... Look, these are just some patches. patches. Yeah. So this is a uh, Apollo 7 Plymouth Superbird. That's a cool one. Yeah. Wars of Dover. So these are just a bunch of different patches. And I'm willing to bet they're vintage. What is this one here? I don't know. I have a feeling that might be military. Boy Scouts, probably. So that's what's in this one. Some vintage patches. What's in here? Oh. 
religious. I N R I R. That is the whole like blessing. I can't I remember what they're called, but you can slide that cross up. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a six sick call set. It just said that on that paper. Gotcha. It has like holy water in it and probably a couple candles. Ah, yep. There we go. Well, it has a bottle for holy water. Okay. Um, this is just a cross. Metal? Um, or is it plastic? Or wood? Yeah, more like ceramic maybe. Or okay. wood. But it's not plastic and it's not metal. Crucifix is this actually is definitely Crucifix um is when is what it's called. Oh that's metal, yeah. Yes. <clears throat> oh, oh, there's some vintage. Is that a toy? Yep. That is a toy. Little birds on it. So this here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> right. Wow. That's cool. Are all those strings all... They're all attached to the ball and as you shake it, the ball, the weight of the ball hmm. is what has the head move. What is this? It's a bust. <laughs> that it's of it a is. dog. Yeah. That's so weird. Is there any markings on it? No, there's something right there, but I can't really read that. I can't either. Something yeah. trading company. That's pretty cool, though. <laughs> Look at him. It's very distinguished looking. What do we have, Brad? Ooh, some food dogs. Oh. Here's one. Or a food dog. Nice. We Here's love our other. food dogs. Those are cool. A pair of food dogs. Those are, if you have those in your house, Ooh, they're for protection. There is a little Coca Cola machine. Um, oh, it's a bank. Oh. And it has some money in it. Okay. It's from Hong Kong. It's 1980. Wow. Yeah. I wonder when things stop getting made in Hong Kong and like really switched over to China. Wow, is that all glass? Chip, yeah, there's a chip right there. Looks like a, maybe a trifle bowl. It's small though. Yep. I don't see any markings on it, so. Here's the lid to it though. Oh, then maybe it's just a candy dish. It's a big candy dish. What else do we have? We got a few more pieces left in here. Hard to find with the sea of old newspaper. <laughs> nice little 1976 bicentennial bowling pen. Candelabra. And last but not least, Ever Ready. Shaving brush. Oh, there's. Sterilized, made in the U.S. The little holy water thing. Is there a little like space? Yeah, put holy water in there. Gotcha. Now this one looks fun. Look at all these. It looks like vintage toys. It's a postage stamp trains by Aurora. What does that mean? Postage stamp. Well, let's see. Oh, we got wheels falling off but <laughs> uh, not sure it doesn't it's probably just a little something to put on the desk we'll have to look that up and get a better idea do i see howdy doody is that, yeah. that is that is it's a little rough yes it is doody what have you been doing <laughs> buddy howdy and dooting oh what? can you pull a string Right. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Yep. 
<laughs> Sometimes these old toys are. I don't know who that is. Interesting. But. So we got some Native American um, figures. Oh no, that that guy's falling apart. He doesn't yeah. look Native American, but mm -hmm. his clothes look Native American. Right. Yeah. He looks like he needs some work. Almost reminds me of the Million Dollar Man. Evil Knievel. Ooh, what Ooh, is year? That a plane? This is like a land thing. Oh, gotcha. 1978 is this piece right here. Wow. And here's another one. This is 1978 as well. Did he have... Did we have other Evil Knievel stuff in the first round of when we looked at his stuff? Not that I recall. But okay. Here's the penguin. Ooh. Look oh, at there's... that. And I know this is 1970s. Wow. It's a little loose, but um, still in pretty good shape. And then the Evil Knievel with the helmet. Oh my gosh. So these were actually the consigners' toys when he was younger. <laughs> a little Dumbo. Mickey Mouse Club. Look at that bag of the oh mini Smurfs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at those. I used to love that show, The Smurfs. <laughs> what else do we have? Well, he's full of beans. Dapper Dan. Teaching doll. <laughs> Tie and buttons and snaps, probably. Probably. <laughs> Look at this. This reminds me of uh, Mario Brothers. <laughs> um, but this is 1978. You got two of them. We'll have to figure out what those are from. People are loving mushrooms nowadays. Vintage mushrooms. That oh, might be part of this. Is that part of the Smurfs? I don't know. The Hulk. As a matter of fact, original Smurf Cottage. Here's a box for the green one. Oh, it is the Smurfs. Yep. So we have the Incredible Hulk. Oh, this is a sizable Smurf Gumby. Box. Ooh. Hello, Gumby. Along with uh, uh, Speed Racer. <laughs> oh my gosh. All these toys are a blast from the past. Right, right. Here's More Smurfs, little Smurfs, Smurfs here in doors boxes. for those mushrooms. Okay. Definitely going to have some Smurf lots. There's some little cards. Yeah, look at... And, wow, th this is just... Ooh, little Fat Albert. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, just, Look at those characters. Wow, just go There's on. another Evil Knievel thing. There's... Is that like Frankenstein? Yep. So here's the last bit of the consigner stuff. We have a couple uh, brand new roasters, a microwave. Um, but we're going to get into this last tote right here. Do you guys see? Hmm. Oh, look at all the Snoopy wow. toys. Oh, remember these? You... Oh, yeah. Ooh, look <laughs> how slow he's going. Can you put it on the table? I... Go, Snoopy, go! <laughs> slow, Snoopy, slow. <laughs> so you got Snoopy. You have some robots here. I mean, Santa... That's what all these Those are. Those are all wind up. Exactly. Goofy. No, not Road Goofy. Runner. Pluto. Pluto, yep. Roadrunner. Oh. I wonder if Roadrunner goes fast. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my that. That's gosh. Crazy. It's just loaded with this. Oh, wow. I remember those. That was fun. Um, this looks like it's for the Boy Scouts. And Oh, it's like a oh, utensils? Like, yeah. Fork, Interesting. spoon, and this should be, yep, the knife. Cool. Yeah. What do we have here? Some Star Wars, Corgi, Prince of Egypt. Hmm. These look like some, maybe posters? The Champ, MGM. Oh, who is that? American film, so this is, looks like it's probably a movie poster of some sort, a year ahead of release. Interesting. Yeah. And 
Yep, Peter Falk. Here's some more movie posters. The In-Laws with okay. Alan Arkin and Peter Falk. Okay. So. Oh my gosh, remember those hats they used to give out to kids? Or maybe those were employee mm -hmm. hats. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh wow. my goodness. <laughs> That one says trainee on it. Is that McDonald's? McDonald's. Oh, there we go. That's an old wow. employee hat. Oh my gosh. We don't have a copyright date on it, but wait a minute. Oh, this wow. This is definitely vintage. So it has to be 60s, don't you think? Probably. I mean, there's patent and um sizes but i don't want to end up ripping this and uh wow wow that's crazy got some little plush figures are, are those those ones that you squeeze the back and then their arms open up and then they clip on there it is yep yep <laughs> that's it Oh my gosh. This is one of the reasons we love what we do because all of this vintage stuff is so fun. We didn't find this, but somebody did bring it to us and we get to work with it and we get to show it to you and we get to sell it. So yeah. that's what we love to do. And there's no money from us invested. Um, we just make money off the sale. We get a, a cut, yep. uh, split from the sale. Wow, look, 1970 International Collector's Catalog for Hot Wheels. Wow. wow. Matchbox. All kinds of catalogs. 1977 Lino catalog, 71. So these are Lino catalogs. Yep. More Hot Wheels. Wow. wow. And then we have the lunch, the boxes. lunch boxes. Oh. Look Scooby at the Dooby mystery Doo. machine. Where are you? Let's see. Can we I, oh, got we go. some work to do now. So it's just a little tin, you know. But this is from, oh, oh, this is only from 2000, so okay. it's not terribly vintage. I mean, it's 22 years, though. But this right here, look at that. Space, 1999. Is that from 1999? No, that's... Is that the name of the movie? Yes. I don't know there that movie, actually. There is your thermos. Okay. And this is actually from 1975. Wow. Yeah. So let's see. Um, thermos. Yep, 1975 with the original thermos to go with it. Here's another one. This is Scooby Doo. That one's plastic. So and this not... is 1988. Okay. So still vintage. Yeah. And it has the, the thermos. thermos. It's a little man. Little, yeah, we're gonna have to rough. do some cleaning. And it's a little broken, but. Okay. So, Which is all the things we call out when we take our photos when we're cataloging these things. Yep. Look at this. Oh, wow. the Incredible Hulk. This is 1978. Oh my gosh. And we got the thermos inside. Look at that. I imagine this one's worth, you know, a decent amount of money. We're going to have to look this up to see. Well... You know, the auction determines the value. Ooh, this might be original, Scooby. Here's a, uh, here we are, 1973. Let me oh, flip that. Wow. 1973. Wow. And it has the 1973 thermos to go with it. Wow. That's awesome. This sale is going to be loaded. It is just going to be loaded. I'm so excited. And this is what? Speed Buggy. I remember this this cartoon. Yeah. And this is from 1973 as well. And it looks like we have a thermos to go with it. Wow. This is 1974 on the thermos. Hmm. Yeah. Still good. That is true. And then some little small ones. These look like just decorative tins. They don't look vintage. Um, yeah, this had something in it because there's nutritional facts, and that's what these are. This is Lassie, and this was uh, 
$19.99. So yeah, these are just little speed racer decorative tins. Yeah. You know, so Yogi Bear. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> boo boo. And then here's a little Snoopy peanuts. This is from 2000. Still so, very cute. Yeah. Oh, with some yo yo's in it. What is this? This one says Glow Imperial. I wonder if that's Glow in the Dark. Duncan Yo-Yo. Hmm. And this is Duncan Professional. Wow. Those are cool. Yes, they are. You don't have to put those back in there. <laughs> um. And one last little piece here, which is, it's just the thermos, but it's Buccaneer. Huh. Yeah. That is interesting. It's pretty... Um, definitely vintage yeah oh, what? oh it says aladdin on the bottom do we see a year i do not see a year no, neither but Whoa. thermos brand and it came with a cork wow that's crazy <laughs> so this is whew. wow very cool